Hey y'all, welcome to B-Rag Garage. Today we're gonna to be messing with the old 69 Dodge D200. Um, I don't have a ton of huge things to do, but I took a Holly four barrel off of this truck that was leaking from everywhere. I guess it needs new gaskets or whatever. So I'm gonna rebuild that one, which basically means I gave O'Reilly's $40 for a kid and I'm gonna just replace all the things that match what I've got. But anyway, uh, today what I've got is This old Carter four barrel, which I know nothing about, it was on the truck. And I don't know much about Carters. I don't know much about carbs at all, but especially Carters. Um, when it was running so rough, I put that Holly on it. It turns out, um, we got another video on it if y'all wanna check it out. Turns out it was actually a loose spark plug wire disconnected that was causing all the issues and not necessarily the carburetor. So I'm gonna see if I can put this one back on here, see if it runs correctly with it because I need the Holly for something else. So anyway, that's a long way to say we're gonna get back here, spray a bunch of carb cleaner on this sucker, clean it up a little bit, slap it in here and see what we got. Let's, uh, let's get back there and see what we can do, y'all. All right, we're back here where all quality carb rebuilds happen on the back of a truck bed. All right, y'all, got the finest carb cleaner that the dollar store can buy. I love when my dollar stores, I mean, they're not $1 anymore, but you know what I mean? When they have chemicals, cause you go through them so quickly, they usually have a limit at the one I go to that has chemicals, like you can buy one or two, but hey, that's all right. Um, hmm, they're both gray silver cans. I should probably move my coffee cup here. Um, still morning, so I'm still drinking coffee, but I uh, definitely don't want to mistake the two and I don't want any uh, carb cleaner overspray on there. So I think the first thing we'll do is maybe wipe down our tray, you know? You can't really tell if you're spraying any gunk out of here, if your tray's full of gunk. Ugh. All right. That's good enough. Since we're not opening it up, I'm not worried about it being super clean, but I do want to see like what's coming out of the carb and what's not. And I got an old nasty oil soaked glove underneath there. That way I have some of this drips. So it'll catch on there and maybe not be all on the tailgate. But I um, don't know if the computer's computer, the phone's going to show it up real well, but it's real gunky and real residue, a lot of residue in there. So I'm thinking just externally we'll just spray it kind of knock some of that junk out of there Ugh, i hate the way this stuff smells but you cannot argue with how good it works dude it's just knocking it i don't know if y'all can see that or not Y'all might can see down here. Let me let it go this way. Yeah, that stuff's pretty gross. I'll flip it over. I mean, this fuel system in this truck is not great. It's coming out of an old, I think it's a fiberglass tank. It has these weird like saddle tanks on each side of the truck. This truck had a camper on it, and the guy I got it from used to do a lot of, like, uh, back then they called it camping or, you know, driving with your camper. I guess now you'd call it overlanding. But anyway, um, so you need the extra fuel. Man, that really does look different. Yeah, it's knocking that varnish off. Well, I don't think there's going to be anything too fantastic in here. I'll shut the camera down, keep spraying this sucker down, and then uh, get back to y'all when it's done. Oh, I do want to say with y'all, if y'all ever use the little sniffer here and actually put it into some kind of port, either cover everything you're going to be around or stand fully away from it. Because like, for instance, this back port here, see how it just like splurts out of there because of all the force. This one would do the same from the backside. You don't want to be spraying in here and one of these random ports just spray you in the eye or something. That actually happened to me a few years ago 
when I was messing with an old Holly, I didn't have my safety glasses on and I was like, you know, staring at it like too close to it. So y'all just do like usual, just be careful where you spray this stuff. Cause man, it stings if it hits you in the eyeball or something. So I lied y'all, something interesting did happen while I was supposed to just be cleaning it. The butterflies and the, the throttle is just completely frozen shut. Now I didn't drop this or, I mean, I had it in a box with uh, like packing paper all around it, like laying down on its side, like on its bottom, like it's supposed to. What the heck, man? Choke moves, but none of these, these rods, I don't know if they're, again, I don't know anything about these carbs. I don't know if those rods, they're all super tight. And like, you can tell there's tension in there, but they were opening. I wonder if somehow when I was blasting through there, no, surely you couldn't send enough pressure with that can to like lock this thing shut. Well, let me mess with this thing some more and I'll get back with you and tell you what happened. I mean, this sucker is locked up tight. Oh, 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 there we go. Ow, poke my finger, poke my finger. Okay, okay, whew. Okay, all right, so I did notice this was touching. I bent it back with the trusty Leatherman, but we got some issues here, y'all. Goodness gracious, there we go. Okay, whoo, man, well, I know it didn't seem like much, but that was 10 minutes of me fiddling with that thing. I tell you, they had gone carburetor. They're like, they're almost as magic as an automatic transmission. It's just wizardry, I tell you. All right, back to spraying and cleaning. Now, I know what you're thinking. Brad, it's wired on there because nobody has Eclipse, and especially ones that small. Eclipse, Eclipse, whatever. Um, you're right. I, if we're talking about me, do not have those. However, my pops, coming through clutch again, has a whole daggone... No! We keep it real here, y'all. I just dropped the carb in the dirt. All right, y'all. Well, that's what happens when you pretend to be like a cameraman videographer when you're really just an old boy who likes to mess around with trucks. So anyway, carb's okay. It just nosedived in there. We're cleaning it in anyway. I guess we'll clean more dirt out of it. But anyway, long story short, my dad had a set of these uh, Eclipse. It looks like there's some teeny tiny ones in there, and I will do my best to get those on there. Hopefully, I can get you on there where y'all can see too. So if you're thinking, really, Brad, is the best place to do this? in the back of a truck, leaned up on an old tire. No, no, it's not. But uh, but it is where we're gonna do it. So <laughs> let's try and get these little clips on here. Usually what happens to me when I get these is they just yeet their self into another dimension. Are the kids still saying yeet? I don't know. My kids don't say it. I got uh, school age kids, like not little kids. And uh, they don't say it anymore. So I'm assuming kids don't say it. But I digress. Does this one fit? So my plan is hopefully to leave the tie wire one up here and use it kind of as a guide. See if it'll slide through here. Man, if you could just go on there for, ah, uh, it went on there, but it's too big. Dang it, that's so small too. How is that too big? Look, y'all, how is this thing too big of a clip? Uh, is there one smaller? I thought I grabbed the smallest bag. Hold on, y'all. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, my gosh, that's too tiny, isn't it? Well, that's definitely too big. I sound like Goldilocks over here looking for porridge or malt meal or whatever. All right, let's try this one, which I don't even know if I can hold it in my dumb, my dumb fingers. I can't even get the bag open, it's so small. Look at these, y'all. There's probably 7,000 in there, but it looks like one regular sized one. All right, here we go. Come on. Oh, these are gonna be too small, aren't they? Yes. So we're right in the middle. So, okay. It looks like this is the secondary barrels i think in these carters this is the main barrels and i i'm 
I feel fairly certain about that because the choke is on there. So they'd be using the two barrels first and then the second, the back two barrels. And I'm also just basing that off how Holly's work as well. Front barrels and then back barrels are extra. So I think we're gonna take that slightly bigger one. We're gonna slide it over and then kind of crimp it just a little and uh, and see if it'll stay because it's not a uh, it's not under a high uh, stress or torque load. And I guess I'm also saying worst case scenario, I would lose access at that time to the uh, the back barrels. Like if I I couldn't accelerate and uh, use the back barrels. Can y'all see that? Probably not. The other one's probably in the way. You should be able to see the other one. All right. So don't fall. And trusty Leatherman. This is the Rev, by the way, if y'all are curious. I uh, I love Leathermans when I'm so dang cheap. The Rev was about, I think it was 45 or 50 bucks, so I I could I could deal with that. Oh no, gonna fall off. This is when you're using the wrong thing. Oh, Ooh, okay. I don't know. Are these even? Are these meant to do that? I could be. Shoot, I don't even know, y'all. I don't have a ton of experience with these little tiny, tiny eclipse. Get off of there! Why are you so strong? I mean, it's good because I didn't lose this little rod. All right, now y'all might can see this other one. Yeah. So these are too big. Eh. Slides over there, but. If we give them the old crimpy crimp, don't fly away. Don't, 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 don't. Okay, get your get your mind right, Brad. Come on. Or, y'all tell me in the comments, is that how those are supposed to work? No, don't fall. Are they supposed to be, I mean, not overly crimped, but are they supposed to be kind of like clamp down or are you just supposed to have enough to have the perfect fit okay that's not perfect but it doesn't slide off does not slide off okay cool let's see can i engage it for y'all i don't know huh on the other side. oh look at that y'all heck yeah all right um this truck's just been idling around the pasture so i don't really need those two barrels but it's nice to have access Okay, all right, we're doing something. Let's keep it going, y'all. So we used a whole can of cleaner. Well, that's gone. And it looks like junky, nasty in there. And looks mostly silver there. Uh, so I guess we cleaned it, right? If you, if you used all your chemical, then you totally cleaned it. Let's, uh, let's try to get this sucker back together. All right, y'all. So let's see what we got here. Uh, uncover this old rascal. And I love these old trucks and they're flat flat fenders and just everything's easy to reach and work on get in here dirt and there's some dang acorns and some dang rat poop in here god it's always something with these rats dude all right so i've got the holly not with me of course because that'd be too easy because it has some important pieces on it, like there's a little knob that screws through here and comes out, hooks onto the throttle cable, a couple other things for the linkage. I think what we're gonna do is, you know, we can just wire tie something or just kind of rig it up a little bit. And uh, let's see if we can get this old Carter to fit on there and see if it'll pump some fuel, which I don't know if that fuel pump's gonna prime or not. We had heck with it last time. I don't know if y'all saw the other video, but I had to prime the pump with an electric pump with a clicky clacky to get gas up to the fuel pump. Then it worked, but I couldn't prime the system. But anyway, let's keep going here. How's it looking in there? Uh, not, not clean at all. Doesn't look clean at all. I don't know. Y'all want to take a ride and check that out? Let's see okay that one's not too bad man it's back to i don't know if the camera's picking it up but a lot of uh oh maybe it like this 
maybe. Yeah, there we go. So you can see kind of the sludge and everything. Um, hmm. I don't know exactly what that is or what that means. Again, not really a carb guy. I'm trying to figure it out as I go. Um, I don't know. Does that mean they were dumping too much fuel back there? Interesting. Well, anyway, let me see if I can get y'all back on the tripod. Oh, okay. I'm going for a fun ride today, y'all. There we go. All right. So, yeah, being a square bore, instead of a spread bore, like a quadribog, there we go. So, these are the linkages I was talking about, throttle linkage and stuff. There's not a whole lot with this truck. Um, so, I think we're just going to kind of rig that up, and um, I'll get back with y'all after I get it all put together. All right, y'all, so we got it bolted down. We still haven't fixed anything over here. We've got to get this throttle linkage right up to here. And that's great with that little knob that actually does that. But I think we may just do something silly, like wire it right here, and it just kind of sort of work. Or we may just work the throttle from here. I am going to hook up the throttle return spring because I don't want it to run away or take off or anything. So... Yeah, okay, good deal. Good deal. You know, I'll be honest with y'all, I don't even know how to fill the bowls in this thing. I know that, okay, this must go right here. It was laying right there. I think this was capped. No, Holly, this is the fuel line. Come on, Brad. There we go. Got our handy dandy knob in there. Knob bolt carriage bolt Dun. looks like a different size probably not good to make all these jumps and hops either okay oh maybe we're not maybe we're not going over there Ugh. Definitely not the right size fuel line, but it won't need a uh, won't need a clamp or anything for testing purposes. So that's good. Got big. What is this, like spark vent? So there's a big one back here. There we go. On the brake booster. Ugh. Okay. Pulls the vacuum from there. This was plugged. Spark advance, back here to the distributor, main inlet line for fuel. We'll probably get some uh, um, some two-stroke gas, you know, some weeder gas or whatever. Probably pour it on here, see if this thing will bust off. Oh, you need a you need a battery, Brad. You need a battery. All right, let me get some stuff ready, and I'll be back with y'all. Now, are there better ways to do this? Most certainly. Um, I don't know if y'all remember that little piece of wire from our carb spraying earlier, but that's what we've got wrapped around here. And we've got this random machine bolt I found running through here into there. Um, it's not gonna work. It's gonna jump out because I'm gonna hop in there and start pumping on the pedal. It's not gonna go. And then we're gonna be like, dang it, and try to figure something else out. But being lazy like I am right now, not wanting to go anywhere, I just grabbed stuff that was next to me. So, <laughs> all right, let's see what we can do here, y'all. Status update. Instead of abandoning the bad idea and trying to fix it, what we've now done is find another piece of wire and we have put it around the machine screw and this little arm right here to try and wedge the actual machine screw in here. So the little tie wire holding this to the machine screw and this bigger wire holding the machine screw to that. So I think now what's left to do is try and start this rascal. Okay, I think I already admitted on camera that I don't know how to fill the bowls in this thing and I didn't just whammy it down so it's possible it leaks a little from this gasket. I mean, there's gotta be bowls in it, right? I don't know. I don't know. Now, uh, you know, I tell y'all all the time that I'm honest, right? And I don't stage this stuff. Look, y'all, I've got this fuel line. Remember when I told you how difficult it was to get on here? And it wasn't the right size? It probably was because this 
is where the fuel goes. Up here, not here. <sighs> Man, we caught it, but I'm sure some of y'all were staring at your phone or TV or whatever, being like, no, don't put that in there. <laughs> That's not where the fuel line goes. And I even commented how it like twisted up and went all weird. Well, no wonder, cause it's wasn't supposed to go there. All right, so now let me find something to cap that off with. And then we'll use our, this is not the true fuel anymore. I just really like these cans. Um, I just mix up weed eater gas with it basically. And uh, I'm cheap, so I just have regular 87 octane. But anyway. We'll, uh, we'll try to get this going, see if we can't, like I say, try to fill these bowls, or I might just slosh some down there and see if it starts. That's that's always good, right? Just throw some gas down it. <laughs> All right, y'all, let me plug that massive vacuum leak. I'll be back. All right, well, that's still probably going to be a vacuum leak. Uh, just maybe not as bad, hopefully. So, yeah, you know, there might be a filter in here. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, okay. That's probably too much. Yeah, I wish I knew more about these because normally I would fill the bowls in a holly and pump it and kind of move the fuel around. So now I'm just dumping it, well, basically just dumping it in the engine. So, ah, it's way too much. Let's just see what does or doesn't happen. Who knows? Y'all might see a cool backfire. Let's see what we got here. Okay, fired off, that's good. I still don't feel great about not knowing how to fill the bowls here. We have some, oh, we got gas in the filter. That's awesome. Maybe the system kept prime. Um, maybe I'll just splash it and then we'll just kind of pump it and hope that we get fuel pump action. Okay. weird series of events there um also i still got no pedal inside i still got the stub i don't know if y'all saw the last video but my daggone pedal had just yoinked itself off to the side and fell off there's a little bolt and something that holds it down so i need to put that back on but uh man i don't know let's try let's try a little more not crazy but just because at first I'm having to hold the throttle down, which usually means it's flooded, which means it has too much gas. Let's check this filter. Filters, I mean, it's over half full, so maybe we're getting pressure there. I mean, I could take the fuel line out, see if it'll pump up, because if there's a filter in here, that's gonna stop it. Are we getting gas up here? Golly. That's what happens when it's not the right size hose, y'all. And y'all force it over. Yo. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, gas up here. Okay. Oh, it stinks. That old gas stinks so bad. All right, let's try again. Yeah. 
metal. Uh, we called it, didn't we, y'all? We called it. Well, I mean, that little tie wire, I don't think was ever going to hold that. That's, that's nobody's fault but my own. Okay, all right. I'll be back, y'all. Let me fix that. Okay, so I think we doubled down on admitting to, or admitting to doubling down on the bad idea at first. So now we're tripling down and we've used a longer strand of wire to hold the, uh, around the bolt and the actual throttle. And now we're gonna try again. Wish me luck, y'all. y'all i gotta watch the footage back where did all that fuel come from whoa dude that's insane see if number three fell off again no it didn't so it was missing so hard mate oh my gosh dude i'm gonna watch the footage back y'all i gotta see that okay so i watched the video back and was it Right here or right here that was just pouring out gas. That's got to be, is that like a, not a safety feature. That's, it's like a, not safety in, I know there's gas everywhere. But as like, is there like a pressure? Like do I have something plugged that shouldn't be plugged? Like is it getting too much pressure so it's blowing up out of there? Dude, that's insane. I guess I could check in here and see if there's a filter. Dude, I don't know. I might have to look these carbs up. I have no idea why it would just do that. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, dang it, I wasn't filming that. So I did what you always do, and I just banged on it a lot. I was like, I guess it's flooding. So I took my screwdriver here and got a, like a little rubber mallet, banged on it. And then I manually folded the choke close, and it started out the top and sweet. But now it's starting an item. God, it is a horrible. I bet that's an alternator belt that we're about to give out. It sounds awful. Let me cut it off, though. But I don't see gas coming over, so that's good. The float must have just been stuck. Man, that was awful. Hold on, I'll be back. Okay, what about now? The alternator belt was pretty darn loose, but... You know, I checked the power steering pump and it was bone dry last week. Filled it up, etc. I'm wondering if that old power steering pump is shot because it was dry for so long. Um, anyway, I pulled the alternator up, kind of tightened that belt. It didn't go too crazy because these belts are, I mean, they're old. They're cracked. They're thin. They're not great. It's like most everything I got. <laughs> but anyway, let's try this again. Hopefully the squeak is gone. Very strange. I'm glad it wasn't that fire steering pump. But I don't think I've got it so tight it'll hurt me anymore. Well, that's good. Heck yeah. We're leaking? Hold on. Oh. I mean, it's not perfect. 
perfect, let's be real, y'all. But I'm definitely not out here um, with a hole in the intake, you know, covered up with a rag. That's awesome. Um, I'm going to let the sucker idle a little. And then uh, we might get a piece of all thread and try to make something to hold this uh, booze down. Yeah, I think it's breaking up pretty, pretty bad. Um, man, I'm sorry, y'all crooked, I'm sorry. Um, it's kind of breaking up and it gets under pressure. And I don't even know how to adjust these. I'm assuming one's air, one's fuel. I really should have done my research, but I didn't. So anyway, I'm gonna let it sit here and idle a little bit. And then we'll see if we can't get into it. I'm gonna try and get the air fuel mixture better on this Carter ASP. I knew nothing about them, so I looked up a little bit on the internet. Wasn't a ton about them. Um, well, there was stuff, but anyway, um, thought I'd just make a quick little video to kind of show y'all how to hopefully get the air fuel mixture. If this thing will stay running, I've got it idle just to the moon to keep it going. Um, probably try to, y'all close enough to kind of, you kind of see there's two big screws on the front. I'm going to try to adjust those see what the motor does and then go from there. It's supposed to go clockwise so the engine speeds up. If it slows down, you go counterclockwise. Well, crap, y'all, we're on fire. Dang it. Get out. Be red garage shirt to the rescue. Cheese and rice. Heck yeah, got old green bean running. Um, probably need to take some of the junk out from this, uh, this bed here. Um, now, if you think I'm gonna go catalog it expertly or put it like in its right place, you'd be mistaken because what we're gonna do is just put it in the back of the tent truck because it has a camper top on it and it'll keep the stuff dry. This used to be under a little lean-to shed so it wasn't as bad as stuff got wet. So I, uh, we got like a tar, I'll probably leave that bumper and that rim. We'll probably grab those spare, well, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna get. Um, I'm just going to put on some gloves and start moving stuff. We'll see y'all in a minute. <laughs> okay, plans have already changed. Um, if y'all have seen any of my other videos, you know that the tan truck is just, it, it's, it's wasp central. I don't know if they're all living in the camper. I don't know, but I know they're everywhere. And I was going to open this back gate right here and start putting stuff in here. And there was like three of them just buzzing around looking at me. And there are certain times of the year they get awful cranky. And I think now is one of those times. So we're probably just going to grab the trash. I am going to grab that toolbox. There's nothing in it really, um, but it doesn't need to just be sitting in the weather. So maybe just kind of get the junk out, straighten it up, and uh, see what we can't get into. All right, y'all, I'm gonna try to do some YouTuber stuff, but instead of being all cool, like all the cool guys, I'm just gonna show y'all how it works. I'm gonna start this shot, jump in the mule, run down there, jump in the green truck, which I've already started for time, and then try to come awesome, epically bounding up here and then drive past y'all. So let me know how I do, y'all.
Well, surprise, surprise, y'all. It didn't work. Truck was going, truck was idling, truck died. You'll not be surprised to know that our just completely rigged up piece of wire on the throttle cable broke off and it died. So we're just gonna get it right, get it running, and then we'll do the cool driving up here shot. <laughs> All right, y'all, this is what a failure looks like. But like I say, I want y'all to know that it's not always sunshine and rainbows out here, especially with these old crotchety rigs like mine. Um, gotta be something with that carburetor. You know, we got it on and we got it running and idles okay, but it's flooding down immediately. Um, doesn't want to restart again after it dies. But this will tell you, I made it what, 15 feet behind the tan truck? 20 foot total maybe? <laughs> I mean, goodness gracious. So anyway, uh, I think that's where we'll stop it for today after we pull it on into the house. So let me, uh, let me hook this bad boy up, get some chain hooked up to the mule and we'll get her moved. All right, y'all, we're gonna close out the old Kubota, put an old green bean back in the house. This may take a second because I might have to straighten the wheel right there. I'm gonna try to get it started because that would be nice because the power steering would help. It's like Matt's off of recovery out here if they like had zero experience, no cool scenery, and had the tiniest tow truck ever. <laughs> All right, y'all, let's give it a shot. Y'all are not going to believe this. This dirty dog has started working now. Oh my gosh. Watch, I'll prove it to you. Look, I'm further out than I was. The mule's still up at, well, you can't even see the mule. All right, hold on. Let me show y'all. Dag on, dodges. said this on the other video but these dodge trucks if i didn't love them i'd hate them y'all i'd hate them okay signing off for the second time this thing has got me whooped y'all i'm exhausted i know we didn't do 
a ton, a ton of stuff, and that carb still needs work. So this truck's not done yet. For y'all guys that don't like it, I'm sorry, guys and gals, but for y'all that are okay with it, we'll have at least another video on it. Y'all are awesome. Again, for the second time, thanks for everything. Keep on making it be rad. And have a great day.